Hey, Dr. Blue's running late. Is it okay to put his first appointment in room three? He's running late. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll take it. Give You'll it take me. it? Oh yeah. Okay. What is it? You're gonna love it. <laughs> it's probably blue sitting up in there. And I hope it's not. <laughs> I'm sure gonna use that thermometer. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hi, Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh man, usually when an animal comes into the hospital, it's either on a leash, in a bag, or a crate. But when I see a trash can waiting for me, that's a first. Oh, yes. We're here today with our pet Annie for our annual checkup. Ah, mama. She's real oh. She weighs about 50, 60 pounds, if not more. Wow. I wasn't expecting a snake this large coming in. Being able to examine an anaconda on my first day back made me happy. You can hold that hand for me. There you go. Whoa. Mr. Policeman, don't you give me no ticket. I'm late for work. OK, I'm a veterinarian. It's all good. There's dogs and cats, chickens and ducks waiting on me. Emergency. I hope I don't have a client here already. I'm late. Morning. Sorry, I'm late. I'm gonna look at the eyes, make sure we don't have any eye caps from the shedding. Retained spicules, eye caps, that's a very common problem we see in reptiles. Snakes shed, they leave skin behind, and it covers the eye, preventing them to see. Okay, eyes look good. And what do you feed? Uh, frozen rabbits once a month. He didn't feed her for a month. So a month, ready. so she wants me now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm no <laughs> rabbit, but she, I do, right? Come on. I'm gonna check the mouth, make sure we don't have any upper respiratory infections. Pneumonia is real common. Respiratory tract infections are very common in reptiles, especially when they're exposed to dirty environment and poor humidity levels. So I'm looking for any froth or phlegm that's forming around the nasal cavity or in the mouth. Perfect. Mouth look good. Uh, just look out for, for any abnormalities. Make sure she sheds completely. I got a healthy snake. It's not easy to find a vet as comfortable with Annie as Dr. Ross was. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. Thank you so much, Dr. Maybe examining a 15-foot anaconda on my first day back wasn't the best idea.